Welcome to Tech Photo Blog. This is episode number 78. This week I'm going to be covering two relatively brief topics. The first is the air gap flash. I've done a bunch of videos about this in the past, but now it's actually for sale, so I want to go over some of those details and give you a refresher on the air gap flash. And uh, the second topic is going to be this book by Alan Saylor. It's about high-speed photography, and he's very active in the Camera X community, so I wanted to give a heads up to it. I think it's a really useful book uh, for people who want to uh, get started or, or refine their techniques in high-speed photography. So the air gap flash is finally available from a company called Information Unlimited. They specialize in high-voltage equipment. And uh, before I get into that, I sort of want to make sure that everybody's on the same page. I've done a bunch of videos about the air gap flash in the past, but uh, for those who haven't seen those, the air gap flash is a very high speed flash. Um, it has a duration about 30 times shorter than um, your standard flashes from Nikon or Canon or Yongnu. So uh, for people who want to photograph explosions or bullets, this is a flash that you really need to, the, the type of flash that people will typically use to uh, sort of freeze the motion in those extremely high speed events. Um, so sort of with that in mind, the, the reason that uh, I went with Information Unlimited is because it is a high voltage device and I didn't really feel comfortable selling it on the standard Camera Act store. So I looked for a partner to sell it and uh, they specialize in high voltage equipment. So uh, when they said they were willing to do it, I thought that was a perfect match. Uh, the reason it took so long to get to market is because um, Alan and I worked on the uh, initial design and you know that was working pretty well, but then we uh, brought in another guy named uh, Paul and uh, he uh, has done a lot of high voltage metal equipment medical equipment and he really made some great suggestions on how to make it safer and sort of refine the design a bit more and then after we had those two things done there were still a few things where it was doing false triggers once in a while and uh, I went through and debugged the issues there and made yet another revision uh, and at that point it was very solid and I took it off to Information Unlimited they had a few little tweaks they wanted to make to it uh, before it was sold so uh, now at this point, um, it's really been reviewed by a lot of people who have experience with high voltage uh, equipment and uh, you know I think it's made it a lot better device than the uh, initial version that uh, Alan and I came up with. So I think it's a, a great device at this point and uh, I am going to make all the schematics available for people who want to make their own and, and things. Actually in the uh, user manual, the there's the schematics. So it's very much meant at uh, the technical audience, but uh, the point of actually selling it is it, it does bring down the bar a bit uh, as far as technical expertise. Uh, and I'm hoping that more artists and photographers who you know really have an eye for the art will uh, be able to start using this in some of their projects. So now the second part of this video is just going to be going over Alan Saylor's book, the book of high-speed photography. Uh, this has really got a lot of amazing information about high-speed photography. Um, I've done a bunch of videos on different things, but um, you know, it starts out with a history, uh, then it goes into sort of a lot of different techniques and uh, equipment that he uses. So uh, it's kind of interesting that he's got some of the camera act sensors and stuff in the book. Uh, Let's see. So yeah, I mean, totally just sort of jam-packed with really useful information and sort of how he's accomplished a lot of his shots. Uh, much of this is available on Flickr. He always puts in great comments. But uh, I think that, you know, having it all in one place is, is sort of worth it. Uh, I'll put a link to where you can buy this if you're interested. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's got, I would say... Half of it's maybe on techniques and half of it's on equipment that he uses. So it's, you know, just really dense kind of book. And it's all um, on Blurb. I'll put a, a link to uh, where you can purchase this. I don't actually know if... Uh, I haven't talked to Alan about this. I don't know if he makes any of uh, the uh, 
money off of this book or not. It's pretty reasonably priced. I know that he donates a lot of his income from high-speed photography to charities and stuff. So, you know, he's just all-around great guy. And, uh, you know, if you want sort of a dense version of a lot of stuff that he shared for free on Flickr, uh, check out this book. And uh, thanks for watching.